science time, it's science, science time. Let's all be ready now, it's science, science time. What do we do during science time? We observe, we compare, identify, classify, infer, test hypothesize. We read a lot, understand them well, science facts we tell. Agha morning, grade 5 learners! Glad to see you back for another amazing and fun-filled learning experience in science. Are you ready for today's adventure? I am Teacher Zara and I will be your guide for today's discussion. Before we start, please take note of the following reminders. Quarter 4 in Grade 5 Science and our objective is Identify the different weather disturbances such as depression, storm, and typhoon. Heavy rains, flash floods, and typhoons are not new to every Filipino. These are common occurrences in our country and every year, there have been numerous destructive storms that have passed the Philippines. We experienced storms that brought heavy rainfall and strong winds. These storms destroyed many things and even caused the death of some people. Do you have an idea how these storms happen? What causes them to form? The Philippines is surrounded by many bodies of water. This makes our country very vulnerable to typhoon and heavy rains. Look at the sky today. Can you tell what the weather is? Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a short period of time. The different factors that affect the weather include air temperature, air pressure, humidity, clouds, precipitation, and wind speed and direction. When these factors change and affect the condition of the atmosphere, weather disturbances may occur. Before we proceed, let's have first a short activity. Write the missing letters in the boxes to complete the words. Use the given clues as your guide. It is a violent disturbance in the atmosphere marked by sudden changes in air pressure and rapid air movements. The answer is storm. It is a local storm characterized by thunder and lightning that happens over a large area when the warm, moist air suddenly rises. The answer is thunderstorm. A tropical storm with sustained wind speed of at least 120 km per hour. The answer is hurricane. It is a whirling funnel-shaped windstorm. The answer is tornado. An area of low pressure that contains rising warm air.
The answer is tropical cyclone. Weather disturbances refer to any destruction of the atmosphere's stable condition. It can manifest through the formation of a low-pressure area or different prevailing winds like monsoons and the Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ. Storms, thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, and tropical cyclones are some weather disturbances happening around the world. Do you know the difference between hurricane, typhoon, and a cyclone? Well, they are all basically the same thing but are given different names depending on where they appear. Hurricanes are tropical storms that form over the North Atlantic Ocean and Northeast Pacific. Cyclones are formed over the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. Typhoons are formed over the Northwest Pacific Ocean. A storm is a violent disturbance in the atmosphere marked by sudden changes in air pressure and rapid air movements. The thunderstorm is one of the most common type of weather disturbances that is experienced in the country. It is a local storm characterized by thunder and lightning that happens over a large area when the warm, moist air suddenly rises. A tornado is a whirling funnel-shaped windstorm. It is a violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground. Tornadoes can destroy large buildings, uproot trees, flip cars, and create deadly flying debris. Hurricanes are tropical storm with sustained winds of at least 120 km per hour. It is a powerful cyclone that forms over tropical oceans. Tropical cyclone is a rapidly rotating storm system characterized by a low-pressure center, a closed low-level atmospheric circulation, strong winds, and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain and or storm. The general term for low-pressure areas in the tropic regions is tropical cyclone. It rotates in a counterclockwise direction around an eye in the northern hemisphere and clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. The center of the storm or eye is the calmest part. It has only light winds and fair weather. Tropical cyclones are area of low pressure that contains rising warm air. Given that the Philippines is found in the tropics, we experience tropical cyclones. Pag-asa or Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration keeps track of cyclones that enter in the Philippine area of responsibility. A cyclone intensifies when it is located over warm tropical waters. It weakens as it moves inland. The intensity of tropical cyclones varies. Thus, we can classify them according to their degree of intensity. Tropical cyclones are classified into three according to the maximum speed of the wind blowing near the center. These are tropical depressions, tropical storms, and typhoons. These are just the common cyclones experienced by our country. According to Pagasa, tropical depression is a weak low pressure disturbance with a definite surface circulation. A tropical depression has a maximum wind speed of less than 61 km per hour. It is most common in the Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ. The ITCZ is the belt of low pressure which circles the Earth generally near the equator. Once the tropical depression has intensified, it becomes a tropical storm. 
A tropical storm has a maximum wind speed of 62 to 88 kilometers per hour. It is more organized and more circular in shape. The rotation of a tropical storm is more recognizable than that of a tropical depression. A tropical cyclone with maximum wind speed of 89 to 117 kilometers per hour is said to be severe tropical storm. Typhoon is an intense cyclone with maximum wind speed of 118 to 220 kilometers per hour. Most of the time, a typhoon is accompanied by heavy rains and strong winds. Any cyclone stronger, more severe, or more devastated than this can be classified as super typhoon. In fact, meteorologists use a tropical cyclone intensity scale to classify cyclones entering our country. One recent example of a tropical depression is Tropical Depression Ophel. As you can see, the map shows Tropical Depression Ophel in its early days and maintained its strength before it leaves the Philippine area of responsibility. In this picture, you can see Tropical Storm Shawnee. Tropical Storm Shawnee started as a tropical depression on October 29, 2020 and gradually intensified into a severe tropical storm by November 4, 2020. This time, you are now seeing Typhoon Ulysses, which made its first landfall on Patnanungan Island, Quezon Province, Philippines, last November 11, 2020. It has maximum sustained wind speed of 150 km per hour. The typhoon unleashed powerful winds and torrential rains that killed dozens of people, destroying thousands of homes, and caused worst flooding in Metro Manila over the years. And on the severe type of tropical cyclones, you are seeing Super Typhoon Rolly, the most powerful storm of 2020. Super Typhoon Rolly brought torrential rains, violent winds, mudslides, and storm surges to the Philippines' largest island of Luzon. Its recorded maximum sustained wind is 225 km per hour. Most of us seems to compare Super Typhoon Rolly to Super Typhoon Yolanda, which struck the Philippines last November 2013. Super Typhoon Yolanda was one of the most powerful tropical cyclones ever recorded. Its recorded highest wind speed is 315 km per hour and the recorded number of fatalities sum up to more than 6,000 people. Now, let's have an activity. Let's see if you can identify the type of weather disturbances based on their characteristics. First characteristic has a maximum wind speed of less than 61 km per hour. Is it tropical depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, storm, thunderstorm, or typhoon? If you answer tropical depression, correct! has a maximum wind speed from 62 to 88 kilometers per hour. If you answer tropical storm, great! has a maximum wind speed from 89 to 117 kilometers per hour. If you answer severe tropical storm, you are right! A local storm characterized by thunder and lightning. If you answer thunderstorm, great! A violent disturbance in the atmosphere marked by sudden changes in air pressure and rapid air movements. If you answer storm, correct! An intense cyclone with maximum wind speed of 118 to 220 km per hour. 
If you answer Typhoon, great job! Let's now summarize what we have discussed today. Let's check how you understand our lesson for today. Identify the type of weather disturbance being described below. Choose your answer from the word inside the box. Number 1. A violent disturbance in atmosphere marked by sudden changes in air pressure and rapid air movements. The answer is storm. Number 2. Our area of low pressure that contains rising warm air. The answer is tropical cyclones. Number 3. Has maximum sustained wind speed of less than 61 km per hour. When it gains speed, it becomes a storm and eventually a typhoon. The answer is tropical depression. Number 4. Has a wind speed greater than 118 km per hour, accompanied by heavy rains and strong winds. The answer is Typhoon. Number 5. It is considered the most violent storms on Earth with sustained winds of at least 120 km per hour. The answer is Hurricane. If you got the perfect score, great job! Did you enjoy our lesson for today? Have you learned something from our topic? Great! If you have more questions, you may ask your subject teacher so they could help you further understand our lesson. For your assignment, please answer the activities found on your learning module under this topic. Once again, this is Teacher Sara, your science teacher, and I hope you learned a lot today. Always remember to keep safe and stay healthy. Good day, learners!